I was almost starting to talk Swedish. I don't know why. Uh, hey, Aliupa. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, hi, Leo. Welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Uh, Leo, this is your general reading, and I've set the time frame to it's basically the whole of June, but just to be like, I just feel like a month, a month up ahead is probably good. Uh, so very beginning of the June of the June to the very beginning of the July. <laughs> just everywhere okay Leo let's see what's going on for you just gonna get an overall energy here to start with and then we're gonna go deeper and deeper into the message anything and everything can come out it's gonna take a little bit for me to get into the energies and it's more towards the end that I have a full picture a full view of what's going on so come with me on this little journey will you Leo Leo for June. Feels like one more. Even two. Two. Three. Three. Wow. So first we have one card that feels like it's a little bit separate. So we're starting with this memories. So I feel like They're so, it's so interesting how different the messages are coming out around these cards. Like it's not, that's why it's not tarot for me. It's not this card means exactly this. There's so many different messages coming out out of the same card. So this to me today, and as I start to talk about this, I get really dizzy. So somebody could have just really shifted their pers perspective, perception of life altogether. Like when there's you know, my dad, for the longest time, when he got a new worldview, when he got a new perspective and it sort of like changed his whole idea about certain things or like, oh my God, that shifts everything. He would have like two or three days of just being really, really dizzy because it sort of messes with your, this is what I know to be true reality. Um, and I feel like as I start to talk about this, I get a little bit, I, I, I don't get dizzy, but I get the energy of being dizzy. So that's, that's not my energy, that's yours. So it could have been like a life-changing situation for you or that you could have you could have had like life-changing perspectives right now which it might bring you nausea it might bring you dizziness um at least it brings you like oh that shifts everything like if i come from it if i come from this perspective on this situation or or on my life oh my god that shifts everything and it can just be a little like a subtle I don't know what you guys are experiencing right now, but there are major shifts going on right now, and I feel them. I don't feel them as a, like, as a tumultuous, like, sh knocking me over, but it's like subtle openings, subtle shifts going on, and that subtle shift is like the flap of a wing. It's, it's, uh, it's the butterfly effect. It's like the tiniest little thing, the tiniest little wave has a huge impact that's what it feels like today this card comes out as a as a like an overlook like you're overlooking your past you're overlooking like how far you come and it's almost like you have all of this under your belt you have all of this under your like this is what you created so far it's almost like you're looking back at it like okay so that's what's been going on and now like now let's move forward all that memory all that stuff that you have gathered has gotten you your wings like you, you've grown so strong typically your hair there as well whether you're a woman or a man and then we have separately like that's the first thing so I, and I understand that because it's like in it's like we're overlooking we're, we're sort of seeing like what what we did in the past like this is what I did in the past and it has made me into who I am today and now like now let's look at these cards coming out like from from a now point of view and then we have the phoenix rising this actually came out for i think it was gemini new beginnings begin your new life so because it has um because it was also like an initial overall card you could have a connection with gemini somehow new beginnings begin your new life this is you rising up this it, it sort of is the same vibe here like understanding how far you come understanding it's not like you have turned into a bitch, sorry. It's not like you have turned into a complete, like, 
you know, because I, I had this feeling for Gemini, I was like, look at me, but not in a, I, I was like, you go Gemini, like that's, that's, go for it, like feel that way, I just feel this for you, Leo, it's more like, um, it's more like you just understand, your, you're starting to understand your power, it doesn't mean that you're a bitch, it doesn't mean that you're egotistic, a douche, it just means that you're starting to understand your power, and we have those peacock feathers there on the bottom, which could indicate a soulmate connection. If you listen to me before, you know that um, a peacock or a unicorn, which we moved away more and more from the unicorn. I don't know why. We just moved away more and more from the unicorn and into the actual peacock. Um, and um, the peacock uh, and the unicorn represents a soulmate connection. It can also be a soul tribe connection, like you're bringing your, your family home, if that makes sense. You're connecting with your soul tribe family not necessarily your blood family, if that makes sense. So we have a, some sort of new beginning. We're going to go deeper in this and, and see what that is about. We also have children. I'm, I'm actually now getting dizzy. So, and there's a tingling in my, in my crown. So there's like an opening to the, um, it's an opening to the universe. It's an opening to more understanding. It could be a lot of downloads for you at this time. You could understand a whole bunch of things. But there could still be like little little detailed shifts, but then it leads to a grander shift for you. Uh, children. So when this card comes out, I mean, it, it, for me, to let's not talk about what it usually means. This is, to me, if today is like you're strengthening your inner child. You're blossoming, you're blooming, you're strengthening your inner child. Whatever trauma you went through growing up or what has sort of, made you into the person that you are looking back you're strengthening the inner child you're strengthening whatever whatever's going on in your life right now you're like you're blooming you're blossoming you're coming out of your comfort zone you're coming out of your shell if, even if you will which is not typical leo because typical leo is already out of the shell but you know every person is so freaking complex you're not just leo and i i well if you, everything in your chart is leo you're probably a lot of leo but like the most complex person is not just about leo there's so many there's so many different aspects going on there in my opinion anyway there's something with star origin and i i think i've gotten that a lot for you lately leo um leo and sagittarius seem to have like a lot of star origin things going on right now Let's move on and see. Uh, we're going to go deeper in, in, into each and every energy here. Money. Um, find a way to abundance. So either you are seeking out more abundance, either you want more money, you want more abundance in your life, or you're you're finding yourself in abundance right now because you're figuring out who you are. You're, you're coming into your power. I see a wish fulfillment there. Like there's a shooting star. There's a shooting star here, but it feels like it's nonsense is like it's so freaking puny in in this in the grand scheme of things it feels like there you're so you're so started to starting to come into your power which like means that you know that little puny <laughs> wish fulfillment like the, this one little star mm -mm, like it doesn't come close to what i'm feeling that you're about to manifest this card to me is like a very busy card it's like you're you're having a lot on your plate there's a lot of opportunity coming in it can also mean that you, you're thinking about all these different things that you can do right now. Maybe getting a lot of beautiful ideas, a lot of inspiration right now about what you can do in your life. Like, oh man, I have this idea, I can do this. Or I want to do this. Like there might be a lot of projects um, going right now. I also love that this, um, we have the wolf. Maybe we can read about the wolf, what the wolf means. Um, the, the message of the wolf. Um, in this Swedish book that I have. I see the gray wolf turning into a golden wolf, like you're holding on to the golden wolf. So there's something about something about restlessness, the lone wolf restlessness from the past is like now coming into the golden wolf, the golden wolf feeling very at ease, very at home, like try, like figuring out going from lonely to alone, such different energies like it could, they couldn't be farther apart quite happy to be alone leo maybe you felt lonely in the past but now you're quite happy to be alone i also see a relationship there again a lot of transformation wisdom music 
actually see more uh, peacock feathers there, which is interesting. I've never seen that before. And you know what? I always talked about um, uh, the dragonfly as a hybrid, the dragon with fly wings. And today I'm seeing this peacock merged with a butterfly. It's like a new type of, there's a new type of hybrid. I always talked about the dragonfly, but now it's like the, the peacock butterfly. That's interesting. I'm just actually going to just look that up just immediately because I'm going to forget it later. The, can we just get some sort of information about the peacock butterfly there? Overall, the message can just be that, you know, <clears throat> that you're transforming into this peacock. You're, you're, the transformation that you're undergoing in your life right now, you're turning more into the peacock yourself, which means that you're soulmate material yourself. It can also mean that this transformation is happening where you're coming in, you're coming into alignment with your peacock, pe peacock, with your peacock, with your soul tribe, with your with your divine counterpart. And let's see what they want to add extra here. Can we just talk about a hybrid, like the trans, the the merging with the peacock and the butterfly? It's very interesting. Peacock and the butterfly. Because usually I've talked about like the caterpillar coming into a butterfly and like the journey between the caterpillar and the butterfly. And it's almost like, okay, but we are the butterfly now, Leo. And so, and so it's like, okay, where do we go from here? And all of a sudden the merging is still like, there's a hybrid merging thing going on with the peacock and the butterfly. And it's also so important because of them, we just realize over and over again that the story never ends. You don't become a full butterfly and then you die and then there was nothing? Of course not. There's like constant evolution. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah, the chills up my neck is just unbelievable. And just down my... Okay, so numbers... I'm My God, the dizziness. I'm sorry for being so dramatic, Leo. You can take drama. <laughs> Seven into eight, eight. Seven into eight, eight. Okay, so we have number seven there first with the crown chakra, and then we have trapped in fear into power, eight, eight. So numerology wise, this is the most beautiful process. It's such a beautiful, that is the caterpillar to the butterfly, the butterfly to the mix with the, with the um, peacock. That is a hybrid. So this is higher knowing, this is higher learning. This is the connection with, and that's why I'm, I'm so freaking dizzy. This is like the, it's not tingling anymore. It's like a full blown, like, Ooh, I'm a, I'm, I need to sort myself out. Um, actually going to get some water. Wow. You could really experience a lot of dizziness, even to the point where you feel like you want to be a little sick. Just throw up a little bit. Huge opening and huge understanding. It's like a higher frequency. It's a higher learning. It's higher learning. The butterfly combined with the peacock is higher learning is what I'm getting. This is basically moving out of fear and into power. I mean, it kind of, oh man, the truth about this Again, sorry for, for being so dramatic, but it's so freaking profound. The truth about this, Leo, if you completely live a fear free life, if you come out of, if you come out of, and it's the Leo, I like the Leo in the card. It's just so beautiful. Trapped in fear, number eight. So the eight has always been there. The eight, like the eight has had always potential. It's the infinity. We go from fear to power. This is like a paradigm shift altogether because coming out completely out of fear, walking into your life, walking into reality without fear, do you know what that would entail? Do you know what that means? It means pure power. But like, I mean, I, ha I know I have so many restrictions. I have so many ideas about so many things. I have so many belief systems about so many things. And there's probably fearful things going on and I don't even know it. You know, 
This is going from fear paradigm to power paradigm, 8-8. Eight, eight. So you might have started to see, you might have seen 777 seven, seven for a long time and then followed followed up with, or 444 four, four for a long time and then followed up with um, 555 five, five, and then 888. Eight, eight. You're, you're going to come into the fives and then into the eight. That is like a, a full-blown power shift. That is you becoming a master. That is the higher learning. From the the merging with the butter with the butterfly and the peacock is coming from a fear paradigm to a power paradigm. <sighs> Holy smokes! Goodbye. <laughs> That's what I have for you. I mean, okay. Why is the new beginning? Why is the phoenix rising there? Well. Well, because you come from fear to power. So why is the new beginning here for Leo, please? Coming out of fear altogether. Uh, release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. So the Phoenix Rising is talking about coming out of something old there. Whatever has happened to you in the past, coming out of something old, going from the black... And I don't want to compare now the because the crow, the crow to me is so beautiful. The crow to me brings me so much, many messages. Wait, didn't I say before I was going to look something up? Ah, oh, what was that? Wolf. Wolf. So I'm going to look that up. Um, yeah, I see this as a black crow down on the bottom. It's not. And then into the white dove. So again, it's like that shift, that major shift. I just want to say the black crow for me is not negative. But today is being represented as a black crow coming into the to the white dove. So it's like going from darkness and fear and, and negativity negativity into the into into peace. Release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. You already have. That's coming into the new beginning. And as am I going to remember that? Yeah, I am. Hopefully. And then I want to know why the, the children card is here, please, for Leo. Why is the children card here for Leo, please? I can't get over the paradigm shift there with the butterfly peacock situation. Three again. So this is so interesting because it's like we have the three, the th we have eight, eight. So there's equally much potential when you're in fear, like still you, you weren't, you're, you're not hindered. You're not blocked from moving forward ever. That's self-infliction. Uh, so we have eight on the fear and then we have three on Michael. When you're in your past, when you're sort of feeling down and out and you have lived any type of trauma in your past, Three is still there, which is all about passion, creativity, joy, fun, celebration, having having something really be manifested that you want. And, and then into three of Ariel, which I'm um, inspired to read out, out of the book, so I will. Three of Ariel. So, uh, and I feel like this is so many opportunities coming in. There's so much uh, passion and creativity that you're coming in, uh, coming into with Ariel. Ariel is all about love and all about manifestations. Um, which deck? Three of Ariel. Three of Ariel, there you go. And it says, do what you love. It's important to follow your passions and do your very best work. There is a great talent and skill present. There is a great talent and skill present. The task at hand can be a joyful experience and may bring recognition and financial rewards. This is a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a happy, cooperative manner is important. Get the input of those around you, but don't be afraid to confidently um, share your ideas. Additional meanings of this card, um, a labor of love, being paid to be creative, 
awareness of your potential being a mentor. So I just feel like, and as I started to talk about it, I just really heard, it's not really, I mean, this is the heart energy center. So it's not the organ heart. It's the, and it's the heart energy center. So as I'm starting to talk about this, my, I get a little like activation, let's call it, because it, it, it is a little, it doesn't hurt. It, it just feel, I feel it in my heart. And so there's like a big connection to your heart center. And it's Leo, you're all about the heart. You are the heart. Like it's, it's sign is, is um, assigned to, to any like organ place or any like physical place. Um, and you are the heart. And when you come into this, like when you come into, if you are really using your creative powers, when you're coming into your passion and you're st starting to realize the potential, it's so beautiful how that tied into everything. You're starting to realize your potential and you're becoming a mentor. You're becoming, you're becoming who you're supposed to be. You're going to start to feel it in your, in your um, heart. Your heart is coming alive. Let your inner child come out and play. Let your inner child come out and play. And then we're going to clarify the money card. And I'm going to read out of the wolf there. The wolf, um, the book from the wolf. Um, it's a Swedish author. Uh, she has translated, she has sort of channeled the feeling or the meaning of each animal's like, of course, if I see a deer, if I see a deer out here, I know that love is being brought to me at this moment. Or I feel loved or like I have the crow for me means this, like you have your own language and she has her own language as well. Like she has, but she has just put them all in the book. And I feel like sometimes my guys would just put something in front of me and I'll immediately know that, okay, I'm going to go home and I'm going to look uh, the meaning for this, like look up the meaning for this in the book. Today, I feel drawn to look that up for um, wolf which is Vari in Swedish. Vari. Uh, oh, that was long. Which is Canis Lupus in Latin. Canis Lupus? Yes, I can. Uh, I'm going to read out in Swedish first and then translate because it's easier for me. Praktisera världens visdom. Min gåva till dig att få tillbaka det du har gett till världen. Oh. Justice being returned here, people. Practice. Praktisera världens visdom. Practice the world's wisdom. My gift to you is to get back what you've given to the world. To receive what you've given to the world. Vargens visdom är enkel. Det du ger är det du får tillbaka. Say uh, the wolf's wisdom is simple. What you give is when is when you is what you're gonna get back, says the wolf. Uh till exempel, var är du utifrån rädsla då kommer rädsla tillbaka. For example, if you choose out of if you choose from fear, fear will return. If you choose out of love, love will return. Vad du att döma andra? If you choose to judge others, others will judge you. Uh, if you choose to help others, others will help you. Se över ditt liv och tänk efter vad är det du har gett till världen. So, uh, se över världen. Take a, like take an over, overview of your life and see what you've given to the world. This is about being the wise man or the wise woman that you are at your core and practice the world's wisdom at its fullest. Var noga med att tänka, känna och agera på ett allt genom positivt sätt. Um, be thorough, be careful about thinking and feeling and act in a way that's through and through positively saw, thought through. För att kunna skörda enbart det bästa. To then be able to harvest only the best. Uh, if you have a fear of wolves, it equals the faith in punishment or fear of what you're going to get back from what you've given to the world. I don't know if I'm fearful of wolves, but I'm definitely respectful of them, obviously. So that was a long message. So the overall message is practice the world's wisdom. My gift to you is to get back what you've given to the world. 
Um, and what you're giving to the world has just been really, really beautiful. And it feels like whatever you wished for, whatever you longed for, for such a long time here, is something that is not going to return. That was a strong message from the wolf. Uh, so can we just see why the money card is here for Leo, please? Why is the money card here for Leo, please? I mean, it's the most basic uh, law of attraction. Like, whatever you put out is going to come back, right? The money card, why is that here? Yeah. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. You are doing that. Seven of Gabriel. So we have already seven, 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 and then we have three, three, and then we have eight, eight. There's so much alignment going on. So you're probably seeing a lot of number sequences as well. Um, stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence and claim your personal power. I feel like that is what you are. You're coming from fear to power. You're leaving the old paradigm coming into the new paradigm. You're not even you're not even translating now from from caterpillar to butterfly. We're going from butterfly. And as I start to talk about that again, it, I'm so having so much much goosebumps. Um, you're tr you're transforming from the from the butterfly. It just feels like it might have taken forever forever to go from the caterpillar to the butterfly. But once you're in butterfly mode, is like it, it like it just blows up. It goes so freaking fast. So it feels like next level for you. You might not fully be merged with the peacock just yet. Um, peacock is all about resurrection uh, and fertility for me. Resurrection and oh, just yeah, really, really beautiful and very powerful. Um, it's like the merging is about to take place. So you're now out of the caterpillar zone, <laughs> the cater caterpillar life paradigm fear coming into being closed in coming into the butterfly and with the smallest flap of the wing major shifts is gonna I'm just continuously just having these I have really long hair so do you see how the hair is standing up like the continuously just having these goosebumps <sighs> um there's such major things happening for you as you just move forward now and coming into sort of a species or sort of a, um, a version of you that you never entered before and you haven't never entered bu butterflies before, but it feels like but but there's been other people that has come into the butterfly species version of us of Homo sapiens. It just feels like the merging, like the dragonfly, the dragon with the fly, and the and the butterfly with the peacock is is like a new idea. It's higher learning. It's next level. And I've just realized that I called your title maybe last time, next level Leo. So there is a real upgrade ha happening for you. This is when thunder and lightning happens in the universe uh, through the rainbow. So the rainbow for me, um, and I'm being drawn back there to talk again about the rainbow connection. Um, the Kermit song, long story short, the Kermit song, if you listen to my earlier videos, you understand why I say that. But long story short, the Kermit song is all about the rainbow connection. And the rainbow connection for me is about like when you have balance between the different chakras in your body, the rainbow connection um and you're up there flying it's time to enjoy what you have created for yourself claim your power and you seem to be doing that just that it's such a powerful reading and it feels like it's just barely beginning like oh my god what is what is more here to find out and maybe some of it is going to come out in the extension <laughs> see what i did there uh so if you're in if you feel like you resonate with this you're so welcome to the extended version of this I'm going to just go deeper and see what else we can find there for you. The link to that is in the description box down below. If not, thank you so much for watching, Leo, and I hope to see you back soon. Bye, guys.